Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. How safe is our transportation corridor in the event of an emergency? Well, Senator Gloria Negretti McLeod just attended a hearing recently and she's here to uh, tell us about what happened there. Well, I actually hosted the, the hearing because I'm chair of the Alameda Quarter East Select Committee for the Senate. Mm -hmm. And so I decided how safe are we should a, a major catastrophe occur. Mm -hmm. So we invited the CHP, local, uh, local police, local fire, Sandbank, which is the associated governments of San Bernardino County, uh, some people from Los Angeles, uh, Caltrans, uh, the, the ACE Corridor, which is the LA portion of the Alameda Corridor East. Uh, we invited the trains, the train people, both UPS and the Southern Pacific. Mm -hmm. And we asked them, how safe are we, not how safe, what kind of measures are taken in the event of an emergency? Well, evidently, uh, the Southern Pacific and the UPS, they also, they are uh, UP, not UPS, UP. And UPS, we had in FedEx. Uh, they actually do workshops throughout the country and especially in Southern California for hazmat mm -hmm. in case a train goes off or in a case of a, of a big catastrophe they have set up teams that take care of the trains and make sure they keep running and they can deliver goods back and forth. We also had the trucking industry there who said that they played a very important part in Katrina by shipping all of the merchandise to all of the places that needed services, uh, the goods, you know, water, diapers, food, all of that. So they used those. UPS and FedEx do the same thing. I guess they were very instrumental in Katrina, shipping all the small stuff back and forth. And they call upon them from the federal government to do this kind of thing. And so our local police, our local fire departments in the area are prepared for any kind of catastrophe. Everybody is, is tied into what they will do. So everybody showed up at the table and said, yeah, we're ready. We yes. have it covered from this end. Is there anyone overseeing it, though, to see if this plan makes sense cohesively well, the in relation to one the another? The state of California, their emergency preparedness uh, that the government, that the administration sets up, oversees everybody to make sure that it is. But I wanted to make sure in our corridor here that we were safe because, you know, we've got the two corridors that leave the state, both going to Arizona and to Nevada. So I wanted to make sure that we were safe. And of course, many of the freeways here recently, especially the big flyovers, are fairly new. So they're set up and built to regs in case of a big earthquake. Now, did you look at it in terms of different kinds of emergencies? Because it seems like an earthquake would uh, differ from if there were a fire that encroached on some uh, important bridges or, or explosions or things like well, that. Well, luckily for us here, there's no great big forest or fires in this particular general area. Now, as you go a little bit north, there are forests there. And as you go south and east, there are but in this general area, no. But we also asked them about terrorism and those kind of things, and they were prepared. Would something like this include emergency evacuation routes, or is this simply for yes. transportation, for moving goods around? For moving goods, but then I asked about, because, you know, when even I was coming in, this I, this morning I had an, an event in San Bernardino, and I was coming in, and there was a, a police officer giving a ticket, and you know the traffic goes mm -hmm. boom, because mm -hmm. everybody wants to look. Mm -hmm. So I said, what would happen in a great emergency? How would the freeways be handled? And Caltrans told us what their emergency preparedness is. And also the, the new uh, sandbag. Uh, but in some things there is no solution, like when they didn't have the asphalt to pave the part of the road they'd already dug up. We see what actually really happens yeah, well, sometimes. So <laughs> so there's so only so much you can prepare yes, for. So we asked, we, I was, I was, I felt comfortable that, that everybody is prepared. All right. Thanks for being You're here welcome. and thanks for joining us uh, for this local edition.